Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Mathusiasm. Today we're going to solve this interesting equation of factorial. A factorial plus B factorial is equal to C factorial. Here, A, B and C are non-negative integers, which means that they are positive or zero. Let's try some small values. Everyone knows that 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. We can replace 1 by 0 factorial and 1 factorial and replace 2 by 2 factorial. Then we get the following 4 possible cases. So there are 4 sets of answers already. A, B, C is equal to 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, and 1, 1, 2. Here, A and B are either 0 or 1. What about the cases that A and B are both larger than or equal to 2? Are there any solutions? Let's figure out the relationship between the two unknowns A and C first. Because C factorial is the sum of A factorial and B factorial, clearly it is larger than A factorial. So we can conclude that C is larger than A, and C factorial can be written as a product of A factorial, A plus 1, A plus 2, all the way up to C. This equation will be useful in the discussion below. Now, let's focus on the two unknowns A and B. Bear in mind that both of them are larger than or equal to 2, as mentioned in the introduction. We have three possibilities. Either A is equal to B, A is smaller than B, or A is larger than B. Because the equation is symmetric about A and B, therefore, we consider the case A is smaller than B rather than A is larger than B. It is called without loss of generosity in short form, WLOG. In other words, we'll have to look at the first and the second cases. Case 1. If A is equal to B, then C factorial is equal to A factorial plus A factorial, which is 2A factorial. Because C factorial is equal to this product, comparing the two results, we'll have A plus 1 times A plus 2 all the way up to C is equal to 2. Each term on the left-hand side is a factor of 2, which is 1 or 2. In particular, for a plus 1, it is either equal to 1 or 2, that is, a is 0 or 1. However, both of them are rejected as a and b are both larger than or equal to 2. Case 2. If a is smaller than b, then b factorial can be written as a factorial times a plus 1 times a plus 2 all the way up to b. Therefore, C factorial is equal to A factorial plus this expression of B factorial. Take out the common factor A factorial. We have C factorial is equal to A factorial times bracket 1 plus A plus 1 times A plus 2 all the way up to B. Using this equation of C factorial, we put the two expressions together like this. Cancel out A factorial on both sides, we get a simpler product. Then divide the whole equation by A plus 1. We have A plus 2 times A plus 3 all the way up to C is equal to 1 plus A plus 1 times A plus 2 all the way up to B all over A plus 1. Separate the two terms on the right hand side is equal to 1 over A plus 1 plus a plus 2 times a plus 3 all the way up to b. Because these two products are integers, therefore 1 over a plus 1 is also an integer. So the denominator a plus 1 can only be 1. Solving that, a is equal to 0. Again, it is rejected. In both cases, there are no solutions for a and b larger than or equal to 2. We only have the four answers solved in the introduction. The wonderful factorial equation is as simple as 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. So how about the solutions of the equation a factorial plus b factorial plus c factorial equals to d factorial? More generally, how to solve the sum of factorials is equal to a single factorial like this? If you want to know more interesting problems in number theory, please check out the videos and the playlist shown on the screen and in the descriptions below. See you in the next video.